Okay, Ricky, just put them right there. And when Carl gets home tonight, we'll actually make a decision. We have a little dinner thing first, and then after that, we'll look at the arrangements. No problem, Mrs. Robinson. You only turn 40 once. Take your time. It's your party. Mm-hmm. Don't remind me. At this point, I'm trying to count backwards. Thank you very much. Most women would kill to look like you at 40. What is you? Not a day over 26? Ricky, are you trying to stack up those tips? Hmm? Maybe 25 then. <laughs> Get out of here. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. Uh, I'll see you in a few days? Yeah, absolutely. You just let me know. Yep, yeah, will do. Ciao. Mm-hmm. What a beautiful day to sell a company. Yes, sir. Can you say exit? <laughs> oh, man. 25 years. 25 years of blood, sweat, and tears. It's kind of sad to think that it's about to be all over. Yeah, well, for the hard, long fight, Carl. Yeah. You got to think about your health, man. You're about to be a rich man. <laughs> it's time for you to turn this thing over to the young guys. Yeah. But what if you still feel young? Yeah, well, I feel like Superman sometimes. And then I look in the mirror, and the mirror tells me I'm not Superman. <laughs> I heard that, man. Tell you what, let's go work on them numbers. For you. Do you think you're going to make it back from work? Before midnight? No, no I'm, I'm so sorry. I won't make it home before midnight. Things are crazy here at the office. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry, my love. Well, I won't be waiting up. I'll make it up to you. Okay. Shine pretty face. <laughs> oh. What time is it? 7 30 a.m. And I had our chef prepare your favorite breakfast. Mm. Come on, you gotta get up. It's your birthday weekend. Mm, don't keep saying that. Why stop saying it when it is? A rose for the lady. Gotta start the morning off right. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Thanks. Mm. Morning. Come on. Let's get you fed. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Eat, honey. You can't starve yourself. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to fit into that dress for the party. Victoria, it's your birthday. This is supposed to be a celebration. <sighs> so what if you don't look like an anorexic supermodel? <laughs> that is so novel coming from you. Seeing that I was anorexic when you met me, and that seemed to catch your eye. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, look, I just figured I'd put a little meat on your bones to match that pretty face. There you go again, trying to fix me. Eat your eggs, love. So remember, your daughter comes back in town tomorrow. She has a presentation at the Flannery Foundation on the 5th. And Carl, she expects both of us to be there. ADM Shark. OK, remind me. And just make sure she has a car available. 
So what did the lawyer say about the offer? Um, well, they said 45 million in cash and another 20,000 in shares. I think I'm gonna accept it. Carl, that's a lowball offer. Are you serious? I mean, you have seven dealerships. Now, granted, the numbers have been a little low, but they've been consistent over the years. You can't accept that. No, I mean, these Asians are always trying to bargain hunt. Look, honey, I understand where you're coming from, okay? But I, I, have, I have worked in the car business since I was 16 years old. I worked hard. We, we did really well. I, I just... I, I just feel like I'm ready for that next chapter, you know? It, it's about more than just the money. I want to finally live. Carl, we have sacrificed everything for this business. Everything. I mean, you have a daughter at Yale. At Yale. I mean, do you realize, as an infant, I, I held her in my arms, and, and now she's at Yale? I mean, you haven't met one of her teachers. You haven't met one of her friends. You've not been to any of her softball games. Right, you deserve this. You have sacrificed everything. Okay? You better get more. Because you've given up a lot to deserve it. Vicky, wait, come back. Finish your breakfast. I've lost my appetite. <sighs> Damn it. doing me like this and just leaving me. I'm gonna see you again tomorrow, baby. Why does she always get to have you coming home to her every night? Oh, come on now, Sita. Because she's my wife. You might want to check this out. How bad is it? It's bad. We've done everything we can to move things around, Carl. We lowered our expenses to increase our sales prices. What? Carl, listen, man. We can go to prison for this. <laughs> man, ain't nobody going to prison. Yeah, but you are inflating your profit margins to increase your sales price, Carl. That's against the law, man. This is a deck of cards that's eventually gonna fall, Carl. Well, by the time that happened, I'd be long gone. I'm moving to Africa. So you're taking me to Africa with you? Take you with Nigga, haven't I always been loyal to you? Huh? Haven't I always looked out for you during hard times? Yeah, yeah, three divorces, me covering your gambling losses over the years. Need I go further? I just need you to shut the fuck up and do what the fuck I'm telling you to do. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes I feel like Superman, then I get reminded that I'm not. Remember? Or you just zip it, Superman. Because I got your kryptonite. She's very upset, Carl. I'll talk to her. What's talking to her going to do? She's hurt. Well, why didn't you let me tell her in the first place? Don't try to act like you have that kind of relationship with her. Don't pretend. Wow. What the hell happened to you?
I remember laying in bed crying, wondering where you were and why you never came to tuck me in like you used to. You know, I thought that I had done something to make you not love me. You know I love you. I know that you feel deep down in your heart that you're supposed to love me. But you only love yourself. And I accepted that a long time ago. And now here I am. I graduate from Yale Business next week. I intend to cash in on your promise. Remember, you said that I could be the president of the family company. You promised. And now, now I hear that you're selling? How could you do this to our family? It's for the best, Anna. For who's best? Your best? All of us. How much do I get? What? You heard me. I said, how much do I get? I've worked for over eight years for this opportunity. And now you're just going to take it? What's it worth? Hmm? You're my daughter. Of course, you're going to be well taken care of. OK. Well, I want it in writing. Wow. You are starting to sound just like your mother. Child, you could be like me. 16 unsolved murders and a drunk husband to deal with. <laughs> well, if Carl doesn't shape up, I'm going to provide you with yet another unsolved murder case. <laughs> so wait a minute. OK, tell me about the plans for the party. Oh. You know, it's the big 40. Oh, gosh, OK, shh, I don't want everyone knowing. I don't okay. know, girl. I just want something, you know, intimate. Just family, friends. I just. Just want to be loved on on my big day. Mm, OK. Mm -hmm. See, I thought we were going to have some tigers flown in from Africa uh. and like some Brazilian strippers and everything. <laughs> really? Really? What a disappointment. <laughs> you know what? You <laughs> need to just calm your little self down. OK. Truly. A little caliente. When it's my 40th, I'm going to go hard. Oh. OK, you guys are lucky I'm not rich. <laughs> because I would be swinging from these chandeliers and everything. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. from that one? That's right. And this is who we have protecting our public. Unbelievable. Let's go. Whatever. Serve and protect, huh? So do you want Chinese or Italian? Um, oh my gosh, Chinese. <laughs> I've been thinking about that orange chicken. You know that orange chicken we used to get? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I got a dope table set up for us. Yeah. Nice and intimate, so we just got to get going. OK. Come on. You know what? Actually, sweetie, I just remembered I left my phone charger oh. in your office. I'll bring it back. I'll go get it. All right, well, let's get going.
what you want to talk to me about, babe? There's just some things that I think we need to discuss. I just a lot of things I need to get off of my chest that I want to oh, explain to you. No, come on, no, 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 getting off a chest today. We celebrate. We're having a good time. I'm about to sell a company, baby. I know, but I really. Hear that? Hear that sound? This is how of us getting along. Hey, work, baby. Mrs. Robinson. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm very sorry about this. It seems like there is an issue with your car. Seems like something is not quite communicating with the computer. But do not worry. It's all under warranty. I've been working for your husband for 15 years. So do not worry, I'm going to take care of it. As a matter of fact, I have one of our lead tech that is going to work on it. His name is Eric Lazes. He's one of our best men. I put him out of his work to just work exclusively on your car. OK, well, can I talk to him? Sure. Um, Eric? OK. Ah. It's right here. Mrs. Robinson. I've heard a lot about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, it's refreshing. Um, thank you for spending so much time on my car. Absolutely. Anything for the boss's wife. Well, I assume I'm treated just like every other customer, <laughs> correct? Well, that's not what the boss says. Uh, OK. <laughs> uh, well, how much more time do you need on my car? Well, your car is the only car I'm going to work on until it's done. And then I'll deliver it personally. Perfect. We will drive you home. And uh, Eric is going to deliver the car to your place. OK. Perfect. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. Nice to meet sure. you. Pleasure meeting you. OK. Pleasure meeting you. You too, Matthews. Thank you. It's my pleasure. So I see that we still have a small amount of due diligence in order to perfect the offer and close the deal. Like I stated before, Mr. Ling, we're well aware that your conglomerate has uh, a lot of respect in the States. But we're also aware that you have a reputation for looking for blood in the water. And we're very stable financially. So we're not going to take a low ball offer. We will make sure that the final offer is fair and precise. We will get this worked out. You have built a great business. Thank you. We will make you a very rich man. Party, party. <laughs> back in touch in a few days before we fly back to Lincoln. Oh, good. Oh, I, I, I got it. I <laughs> know who that could be. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. It's good to see you. Security, I gave them your name. Everything's OK? You got in yeah. perfectly. I just wanted to drop your keys off personally. Okay. Everything's good? Yes. All right. Um, you know what? I have a full bar. You want to come in and have a drink? That's one of my rules. I won't drink on the job. Ooh, are you kidding me? Nonsense. You, um, you work for my husband, so. I know. That's why I can't be well, drinking on the job. It's the least I can do. Come on. All right. Come on. If you insist. I do insist. So, what about you? Well, I'm from Chicago and moved to LA. Started running with the wrong crowd. You know how that is. And I just left the military. Interesting, yeah. colorful past. Huh. It's always nice to hear someone's stories when they come into your space. Huh. So what about you? Ah, uh, just an island girl. <laughs> My husband met me at a young age when he came to Barbados on a trip. Next thing you know, I'm in the United States with a husband and a daughter. Huh. Never been back. Barbados. Mm. Mm. 
I don't hear an accent. <laughs> oh, you have to wait until I'm very angry <laughs> and very tired. And it, then it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I miss my homeland. So why don't you go back? I mean, you're a rich woman. All it is is getting a plane ticket. It's not that easy. Hmm. Family disowned me. There's nothing there for me. Nothing left. Hey, you okay? I am. I, it's must be the scotch. I don't normally talk this deep with strangers. I don't believe in strangers. I, just, I think we're all connected in some way, in some shape, some form. My mom, she was born in Ho Town. Really? Yeah. Wow. She moved up here, look at this. To try to get a better life and, you know, look out for us. Wow. Oh. I knew there was something about you. <laughs> and I knew there was something about you, too. You know, I saw a uh, coon sculpture down there. I've never seen one up close before. Wow. Look at you knowing your sculptors. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I dabble a little, you know. Yeah, I actually sold a few pieces down at the gallery. Wow, I'm so impressed. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I always thought one day I'd be a famous sculptor, but instead I became a rich man's wife. So what's stopping you? The only limitations we have are the ones that we place on ourselves. Spoken like a true artist. Well, I got to get going. They'll be looking for me soon. Of course. If not, yeah, I'll... hey. Yeah. It's, it's good to see you, Miss Victoria Robinson. Walk you out. Where is this from? Very tasty. Shake hot. Can we buy it? <laughs> Just kidding. Look into it. So, Carl, my friend, you like basketball? Yeah. yeah. I used to like basketball. You know Carl Malone, the big black man play basketball? I like that name, Carl. So, Mr. Ling, we're going to have to up our offer 60 million. The industry standard. And we can't take anything less. You know, I come here three years ago. My father knew an executive council from my country. You know, we got fat and rich. We made money the unfair way, you know. I would try to make money the fair way. You mean with your unfair inheritance? Mm. You know, they say behind every year. Great fortune is a great crime, no? Not my crime, but my fortune. Hmm. See, we come here three years ago, San Francisco. I hear they have really cute guys. You know loose guys? I like loose guys. Uh, you can spare me the details, all right? Now I own 1,000 car dealerships. I need 500. 500 more to make my goals. 60 million would be a lot closer. Oh, I'd take the value, the juice out of that company, down to the last drop. Well, look, man, we don't care what you do with it as long as you pay us, all right? <laughs> really? I like you, Carmelo. I'll tell you what. If the numbers check out, my accountant guy says it's okay, I'll pay you 55 million. That's my best offer and final offer. 55 it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Offer is extended. Pending due diligence, of course. We need to go over your books for the last seven years with hmm. a fine tooth comb. Well, get the rake in. 
we will set a closing date in 60 days. Mr. Ling likes to move quickly. Good day, gents. My place now. I do what I want, right? Carl Malone? <laughs> did, he, did he just drop that shit on my floor? Yeah. I hate that cat, man. <sighs> well, let's get the crunch in these numbers. Oh, I had so much fun. Look I'm what glad you made me do. Sale rack. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, girl. Oh, wait. I thought I heard my phone buzzing. Wait a minute. Detective Rita. Sorry. It's okay. Girl, these young fools acting up again. Oh, God. Compton. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. I gotta go. It's a body on the ground. Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry, okay? It's okay. All right. Text me later. You got it. Be safe. Is anybody ever really safe in this world? Not with you. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? <laughs> I actually go to this little thrift shop over here. I love to thrift secret passion you of go mine. To a th I listen, I love my rummages, all right? I like to find good finds. I'm coming up here to get some clay from Old Man Gray's store and then get a bite. Why don't you join me? Oh, what a coincidence. Um Come on. Um, all right. All right, sure. So I, I just, I miss it so much, you know. I just, I miss walking barefoot. I miss the sand between my toes. I miss that island breeze, the island smell. I miss it all. I miss where I'm from. You ever try to contact your parents? Um, I haven't talked to my mother in 20 years. It's that island thing. You're just so stubborn. Sounds like such a sass. You gotta fix that. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Not every story has a Hollywood ending. It doesn't have to be a Hollywood ending. That doesn't mean that it can't be a good ending. I better go. You know, I don't want to see anything. Look, I live right up the street. Been up in the mountains so long, and you know I don't get much company. So why don't you just come by? I'll show you some art. I'll show you what I do. I better not. Oh, come on. Are you sure? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Forty-five. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm. Uh, um, you know I don't kiss on the mouth. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, that's for my husband. <sighs> Hopefully he'll enjoy it as much as I do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He sure will. Mm. Oh, hey, you can't smoke in here. Well, you're the boss, ain't you? Yes, I am. Well, then I have your permission. Or don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Uh, speaking of permission, mm -hmm. I wasn't going to say anything, but I know what's going on around here. What's going on around here? You're selling the company for $50 million? Where'd you hear that? The walls they talk around. Well, that's a lie. Well, let me cut to the chase. I want my share. What? Look, I've been doing everything that you want me to do around here, and it ain't easy fucking your old ass every day. So I want my cut. Are you crazy? Look, don't play with me. I got videos, and I got receipts, and I got text messages. So you give me my share, or I'm going to your wife, or to the press, and I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear about the hometown hero, Dipping his spoon in a 25-year-old Wait, 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 wait. What is it you want? Five million. Five million? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Try me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sita, Sita, please. Can we just talk about it? My people are going to call your cell, and when they do, you're going to give them the cash. I can't carry that kind of money around. The bank will put me in jail. Okay, we'll bring 500 grand, and then we'll figure the rest out. 
But you better not be late, because then you're done. Uh, and if we do get this all squared away, maybe I'll let you kiss me on the mouth. So what was so desperately pertinent that you had to pull me out of a boardroom meeting? I'm, well, where's your father? This isn't about my father. It's about me. I am busy. I am sorry. But... Well, I, I can't exactly tell you, it, especially not here, but I can give you a hint. And what would that hint be? When you seek the truth, you will find it. Everything isn't always as it seems. Look closer. Thank you. Thank you. You're so damn crazy. <laughs> That's you, baby. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> you know you tried to break my back. <laughs> <laughs> you know I would never hurt you. But what if I want you to hurt me? <laughs> You're so crazy. You got a lot of spunk <laughs> for a young girl. You know that? Well, I learned from the best. I hear you. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm glad we got rid of your messy-ass mom and got with you. Yeah, well, she ain't know how to treat a real man. Or her daughter, for that matter. So, poof, be gone. <laughs> so, you know, I did everything I said I would. Put you in a new job and a new position. Yes. Yes, you did. Yeah. So now all I need you to do is carry out our plan. You understand? OK. Yes, baby. Say yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Ow! Ooh, ooh. I'm like, you do that. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> ooh, you're so crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fram. Wow. At my place of business? Really? Sorry. My boss wants me to pay you a visit. What? I'm behind? No. Actually, you're performing very well. Your boss has got it down to 60 large. Really? So, so, so why are y'all bothering me? What, what, what do you want from me, man? Well, you just better make sure you make those payments. Or this place won't be so peaceful anymore. Just a reminder. Yeah, well, I'm at work. Get out of here. Bastards. Remember what I said. Fuck. Pass me that. Uh -huh, Pass me that. Uh -huh. You need to drink some more. Pass me that. Pass me that. Oh, you can get 
I got some oh, good top there. shelf for you, girl. Yeah. And guess what? I told oh the DJ gosh. to play some nice down south bounce. Oh. So that we can just like, you know, how we like we used to. Back in the day. I don't know if I was much as you. so sweet. Thank you. You didn't have to do this. Oh, please. For the one true parent that I have, I had to, Mom. Stop that, okay? Your dad is doing the best to his capabilities. Trust me. Mom, like, can you please just take a small break from making excuses for him? It's your birthday. It's all gonna work out in the end. Okay, well, speaking of Mr. Number One Dad, where is he? Why is he late? He just called from the office. He's on his way. Okay? Okay. I want you to go and have some fun. All right? All right. Come here. Have some fun, my love. Go on. <laughs> hey, come on now. Let's talking and oh, 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 drink, oh, drink oh, up oh. Your favorite. Oh. Come on, oh. out to the dance floor. Oh, Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, you go. Nice night tonight, baby. Yeah, yeah. Who's this? It's your worst nightmare. We need you to bring the first payment tonight. Can it wait? I have a really important meeting to go to. Long Beach, 45 minutes. Uh, how about 1 a.m.? I'll text you the address now. OK. Damn it. Hey, babe. Look, I'm running a little bit late, OK? No, I'll be there, I promise. I swear I'll be there, all right? for like five minutes. Why is your makeup all messed up? You're being annoying. Really? I want to enjoy the party. Drop the bag. Step back. 
before I shoot you where you stand. Hey, look, man, I don't want any problem, okay? Just, just take the money. <laughs> but y'all rich people never cease to amaze me. Always trying to clean up your fucking messes with money. Can I go? Is it all there? Look, man, don't fuck with us. It better all be there. It's all there. You know, my little cousin Cedar said you were a decent guy, man. But can't fuck for a damn. birthday to me.
In closing, my presentation to the board on the true value of free education for inner city children. <sighs> Go. Thank you. this weeks ago. Listen, I can explain, okay? Just listen, save things. the lame excuse. No, oh, my whole life, I thought you were the one that I could count on. I thought you were different. But lately, you're just showing me that you're no different. One in the same. Anna, that's not true. That's so true. That's not true. Please, uh, just no, let stop. me. Stop. No. Look at you. Eric, I think we need to talk about something. Talk about what? How you want me to jump you again? Come on. I don't think we should be together anymore. We, sh we have to stop this. I think you're amazing. I do, but I this isn't right. I have a family. I have a husband. I have a daughter. I mean, you work for my husband. This is bound to blow up in both of our faces. We, we have to stop this. But well, we knew all this, and, and, and things are fine. I mean, so you, you, I didn't expect you to leave. I don't expect you to leave yet, I mean, at all. Eric, really? You'll find a substitute like that. <laughs> it's just, oh, I know. You want a pillow fight. Is that what this is? <laughs> you want a pillow fight? <laughs> Stop being a little boy. It was fun. It was cute. It'll be fine. Okay. Get some AC, huh? <laughs> Donna. Here to see Mrs. Robinson? Um, well, she's not here. Can I help you? I work at the dealership. I'm just coming by to drop the manual off for the car. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay. What's your name? I'm Anna. Hi, Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, come this way. You can wait over here. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. All good, man. Thank you. It's all good. Mm. Oh, hey, sweetie. What do you want me to uh, order for dinner? What are you doing here? Hey, baby, you remember Eric from the job, right? Yes. Well, he decided to stop by because he has some special upgrade codes for your vehicle, and he wanted to deliver them to us personally, which I thought was a great touch, right? I mean, this kid is coming up in the company. He's got a future with us, man. That's amazing. You know, I'm thinking that we should have sushi tonight. What are you thinking? I love sushi. It'd be great. Sushi it is. Hey, hey, would you like to join us? We have a sushi. Uh, yeah, I love sushi. Uh, thanks for the uh, hospitality, Mr. Robinson, but I got to get going, though. Thank you. Hey, man, I totally understand. You know what? Yeah. You're welcome to come by anytime. Thank you. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> so, was yours as mine? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got jealous out here. <laughs> yeah, I like that kid. Good kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get that sushi ordered. Fantastic. Ooh. 
Alrighty. <sighs> Look, I just need you to be as quiet and discreet as possible. Okay, no problem. I mean, you know, we've been friends all this time. Why wouldn't I? I just need to know what I'm dealing with. Okay, no problem. I'll pull a whole full federal background check. I mean, state criminal. Come on, all of that. <laughs> I mean, by the time we finish, you know what? <laughs> what? You know what size underwear oh. he wears. Chica, chicalita, loquita, is that right? No, that's Carl, <laughs> this the loco. He's a little loco one. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I appreciate you, okay? I want you to know that. Oh, come on. You don't have to appreciate me for anything. I'm your friend, and you know I love you, girl. All you need to do is tell me the next thing or anything that you may need me to do. Well, there's one thing. Okay, anything. I think you could get me one of your guns. Is it that I mean, serious? I don't think so, but... Okay, look. If it's that serious, you need to tell him. Okay, this is very dangerous. I've seen it happen too many times. What's going on? Just get me that information, okay? So I know who I'm dealing with. And hey, maybe it's, it's nothing. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Do I need to stay with you for a few days? No, Carl would have a heart attack. <laughs> Carl would have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I would have a heart attack Yes, instead. both of you. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Are you being honest with I'm me? I'm fine. I'm just getting my ducks in a row, okay? What are you doing in here? You left my name at the guard, remember? You need to get the hell out of here. I gotta talk to you. <laughs> There's nothing for us to talk about. We have to talk about our love, baby. You love me. You said you love me, and if we could talk about it. I swear to God. I swear to God, you come any closer. You gonna do what? How many times have I told you? What we had, it's done. It's over. <laughs> Stop it. Put it down. Stop it. Put the goddamn knife down. Don't come any closer to me. I swear to God, I <gasps> Put it down! Get out! I told you, I told you that I, I have a family. I'm this fucking family. Now talk to me. Please. Put it down. You get away from me. You get away from me. I'll scream. I'll scream. I'll scream. There ain't houses for my house. So scream. I swear to God, if you love me, if you love me, if you love me, you, you would, you would go. You would, you would, you would leave and- Shut the fuck up. But you know what? You're right. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Shut up! Shut up! You love me, you love me right? You love me, right? Mmm. This milkshake business is pretty good, I must say. Almost as good as this shake. Mr. Ling, do me a favor. What is your point, Ling? This is the problem with you Americans. Rush, rush, rush. Never enjoy the sweet part of life. Yo, man, get to the point. You see, my accountants decided to take their time. Their sweet little time. 
and go through all your books. Everything that glitters, my friends, is not gold. Man, what are you trying to say, bruh? Americans, why would you disrespect the person that is writing you a check? This is the problem with you guys. It wasn't like this when Ronald Reagan was president. Mr. Ling, what exactly is going on? Throw that away, please. Thank you. Your books tell the truth. You lie. Hey, ain't nobody... But that's OK. I expect Americans to lie. Wait, hold on, man. Ain't nobody lying over here. Are you calling my boss a liar? Listen. We found plenty of accounting irregularities. Numbers don't add up. We need to re-audit. Man, those numbers are fine. What the hell are you talking about? Do you want to do this deal or not? Some bullshit. That's what it is. You want my money? You go through my process. You see, I'm a nice guy. But sometimes, I'm not a nice guy. If you try to steal from me, you will find out. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. I got this. Look, look, look. We have nothing to hide. If you guys want to do a re-audit, then do it. But we expect this deal to close in 60 days as promised. Let my guys have access to all the books. No shenanigans this time. And we will close on a fair price. I'm not giving up on you, Carl Malone. Dude, you call me Carl Malone one more it's fucking time. It is a compliment. You know what? Get the out. A man shall carry himself with honor and dignity. Let's go, partner. Unlike you. Let's go, partner. I'll be back in touch. <laughs> Let's go, partner. You know, it was really nice to meet you, Eric. And it was also nice that you dropped that manual off for my mother. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. I just like the fact that you're so smart and so cute. Mm -hmm. So down to earth. It's just like, it's kind of like you're a whole different person. Aww. You know, you're just so sweet. <laughs> like, you better stop that before it gets you into a lot of trouble now. What are you talking about? I like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have to go and get to the office, OK? OK. Pick me up for lunch? Yeah. All right. All right. See you later. See you later. You know you're short, right? Short? No, I wasn't short. What you talking about? My cut is 30%. I had to pay my cousin Dolo, OK? He took a penitentiary chance on us. I don't give a fuck what he did. I want all of my money. Now, you know what I do. Don't keep fucking with me. You need to watch how you talk to people. I don't need to do shit. I want all my money. I'm tired of talking, little bitch. I saw that you called. I'm calling you back. Yeah, I have some information on your little lover boy, and it's not good. OK, tell me. Tell me everything. What did you find? Our little Romeo here is accused of killing a husband and his wife. You know, they had some crazy love affair. Are you sure it's him? Yeah, I'm sure it's him. I mean, he was the number one prime suspect, but they just didn't have enough evidence. <sighs> OK, all right, all right. So what, what, what do I do? Let's get down to the police station right away and be very careful. Get over there, I'm gonna have a sergeant run over there real quick and jump all over this, but you have to get down there right now, and the first thing you need to do is file a police report. No, 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 I can't, no, Rita, we, I cannot do anything. What do you mean you can't do it? Okay, I can't do anything. We have to just sit on this for a second, okay? What? To wait until the, the company sells. 
All right, if the media gets hold of this, it'll ruin everything. No, this is very serious. I mean, this is your life that's on the line. You have to trust me on this. We can't do anything until the close of this deal, okay? This deal has to close. I can't believe you're even asking me to do something like this. You promised me, okay? I'll give you until the end of the deal. Once that deal closes, I need you to take immediate action. Do you understand? Thank you. You know, this goes against every fiber of my being as a detective. Yeah. Thanks. All right, I'll call you later. the door. What do you need? Victoria. What the hell is your problem? You listen to me. I don't know what your problem is, but you stay away from my daughter. Do you understand me? Stay away from my family. It's a free country. And you left me, remember? All right? I do what I want. Is that what this is about, huh? This is some sick little tit for tat, some little game. You get a thrill out of this? Do you think I get a thrill out of it? You told me that you love me. All I want is what you promised. You listen to me. If you ever want to love again, if you ever want to just screw somebody over again, you do the right thing and you leave my daughter alone. You wanna hurt me, huh? Is that what you wanna do? Then hurt me. But you leave my family alone. It's done. This was cute while it lasted, okay? But it's over. In fact, you know what? What is this about, huh? It's about money? Okay. What is it? <laughs> Bitch, get your ass over here. Now, you think that your money can buy just any and everybody, right? You want to pick me up and put me down like a fucking toy. Stop. All I want is your love. And love, love is free. Stop acting like a wounded boy and be done with this and leave my fucking family alone. Wait. I'll write you a check, okay? Fuck your money. Now stop acting like what? What'd you say to me? You're sick. You're a sick, little, wounded, tiny, little boy. Blow the fuck up! So I didn't want you! Leave my family alone. Bitch, if you ever put your hands on me again, I will fucking kill you. That's now. Good of you. What the fuck did you just say to me? Say it again. Please, say it. Please, say it. Say it again. Say it. Stupid little sad little way. Look what you made me do. Look what the fuck you made me do. Thing, honey, I can come picking you up. Yeah. Where are you? Huh? Yeah. Oh. I'll be right there. 
You stay right there. Rita, it's me. Listen, I need you to go to Fifth and Crocker at that warehouse. Anna is in danger. I've tracked her phone. I need you to go. Just you. God. No cops. Just you by yourself. Please. You have to hurry. And promise me, just you. No cops. Please. Hurry. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, Carl, it's me. I don't know why you're not picking up the phone. I need you to go to Fifth and Crocker. Anna's in danger. I need you to go to that, to that warehouse, please. I've tracked her phone now. <sighs> Go ahead. Keep fucking walking. I'm sorry. Back the fuck up. Don't shoot me, please. Now look, you don't deserve this. Well, sometimes kids just gotta pay for what the fuck their parents have done. It's in the Bible, and it's some shit that I'm gonna do today. Yeah, you don't deserve it, but it's gotta happen. Oh, no, 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 we can, we can work this out. We can, we can just talk it through. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! I don't know Shut what up! happened to you. You rich motherfuckers, no. kill me! Shut the fuck up. It's all the same shit with y'all rich motherfuckers. It's the same shit. Don't even think about your life until you're down to the last second. You live your life like you ain't never gonna fucking die. You live your life like you ain't gonna never die. And then the day that this shit happens, here you go. You sorry. I, I, I don't know what happened, but my dad has friends in high places and he, he, he can Bitch, I don't want your out. money, don't you understand? I don't want your fucking money! All I want is love! Love. It's free. Love. It's free. Love. It's free. Because I'm not a rich fucking like No, you're, you're just not. You're not thinking it through. You call no. your fucking father. Call me. Call your fucking father. I can't. I want that motherfucker over here now. Call him! No. Wait, I can't. Daddy never loved I know you. you. He didn't love you. Daddy never loved you. But I loved you more than that. You see that shit? Stop! Oh. Fucking Please, please, Eric, please. Your papa never loves you. Your daddy never loves you. And why are you protecting them? Why the fuck are you protecting them? Please. He don't even love you. Back to fuck up. Nobody got to die tonight, okay? Oh, nobody got to die. 
Nobody got to know. Come on, Eric, you're acting irrational, okay, man? Just calm down or we can talk this out. Oh, we can talk this out? Come on, man. You want to talk this out? That is my daughter, man. Come on, man, please. Please, please. Oh, oh now it's your daughter. <laughs> See, now it's your fucking daughter. Don't do this, man. You got the most beautiful fucking daughter in the world. You got the best family and you take them for granted. But justice is love. <laughs> Say it with me. Justice? Come on, Eric. Nigga, say okay, it. man, okay! Justice is love. It's love, okay? That shit again. Justice is love, man! No. Just, just please don't hurt my daughter, man! I'm not gonna hurt your daughter. I'm gonna hurt you. Good night, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. And what I'm gonna. Oh. 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 Stay down. Hold on. Hey, I need a bus. Fifth and Crocker. It's been a shooting. Hold on. Oh my God. Okay, he's in and out. He's in and out. Carl. 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 Just get around on this side. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Baby. That bitch shot me. Are they on their way? I need them to hurry up right now. He's losing a lot of blood. Hold on. Hold on, Carl. Hold on with me. Stay with me. Breathe. Breathe. Not every ending has to be a Hollywood ending. But it can be a happy one. I got you. Victoria! So, you enjoy fucking my wife. Enjoy fucking my wife. Enjoy fucking my wife. <laughs> Bip? So you like fucking my wife, don't you? Sir. Look, you take care of this for me, and I will make you a very rich man. You sure about this? <laughs> Look, I recruited you because I know about your past. You know, Saint. Now, two million for my wife, one million for my daughter. I want it done quick and painless. Why are you trying to do this? <laughs> because it's cheaper than split in half. Look, I'm going to Africa as soon as this is done, so I need this done now, and I need it done right. <sighs> All right. How you like your steak? <laughs> I told you. I told you, but you just couldn't listen. Had to fall in love like a tender-hearted thirst bucket. Getting out of this. Next time, follow instructions. No! I'm so glad that we got to the bottom of things. It's great doing business with you. You practically stole it from me. 20 million is a fair price, man. You lose money the last few years. Nobody else wants to buy. 25 years. 25 years I've been doing this. No worry. 
Your company will be in good hands. And I will do a great job as executive. Mr. Link made me the president of the company after all. Well, I guess you got what you wanted, right? <laughs> so happy. Congratulations, Anna. Thanks, Dad. You know, I really like this painting. Did you buy it? Okay, I gotta ask, man. How much you pay for this? 21 million cash. Good day, Kamala. <laughs> She's a loose end for him. And you. Need to take care of that loose end. That's you in your mouth too much. <laughs> I know we both know she's a good piece of ass, but uh Cena gotta go. You understand? You know what he did to your cousin Cedar. Make it right. out, doesn't it? Yes, it always works out in the end. Hello, Carl. Tony, so what do I owe to this pleasure of this visit? I made Fram's payments on time. What's wrong? I'm sorry I had to go like this, Carl. Open up the safe. So look, this is what it is. Got a half a million in the safe. You understand? And it stays late on Tuesdays. Security guard leaves at 10. So the cat is a sitting duck. Fucking cheap fucker. Doesn't want to pay overtime. You for sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And after that, I'll be in the black, right? Yeah. You'll be in the black. Good. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Now hurry up. <laughs> okay. How much is in there? About 400 large. I was trying to take a trip to Africa, needed some cash. <laughs> Change your plans, Carl. You're not going to Africa. Nice and slow, guy. All right, all right. As your personal security, I can get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> now, can we order those Brazilian strippers? Yes. Yes! yes. Let's do it! Yes, girl. <laughs> 